guys, what is up? I thought today that I would just film a little video kind of to make myself feel kind of better. But I do have some stuff I really want to talk to you guys about. So I thought first off I will do kind of a currently reading and then I also wanted to talk about my bookshelves which are behind me because I recently reorganized them. Yes, my cat is hunting bugs on the window. Um, but yeah, so you go grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee like I have here and then come back and we'll we'll have a little have a little bookish chat. I'm currently in the middle of two books. Um, well, I say in the middle. I'm kind of near the beginning of two books. I just finished a couple, and I'm getting I'm getting into uh, some others. And one of those, ooh, let me grab it, is this one, which is The Witches by Stacey Schiff. Uh, this is an enormous monstrosity of a book about. Basically, just everything that was going on in Salem in 1692. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It is really well written. Like, it feels like a novel, uh, just telling you the story, but it is incredibly dense. There's not a lot of page breaks, there's not a lot of, like, images or anything. It is just kind of straight pages of text. Um, so it is taking me a little bit to get through. Um, I'm only, like, 50 pages in and I've been reading it for the last two days, which is not usual for me. I'm usually a pretty quick reader, so um, I'm kind of enjoying just kind of dipping in and out of this one, though. I find a lot of the times I, I kind of race through some books and then um, like the story or the content doesn't get to me quite as much. So that is one book that I had started reading. Another, oh, it's also sitting over here, is All That Man Is by David Zale, Sops, Sa Sale? I don't know. It's S-Z-A-L-A-Y, so I'm not sure. But this was uh, shortlisted for the Man Booker. Um, I started it kind of at like an inconvenient time. When you think of the title, All That Man Is, I kind of assumed they were using the term man as in humanity. Uh, they're not. They're talking strictly just about men. And I'm getting like a weird vibe from it. I'm getting a very like whiny, look how hard it is to be a man sort of thing. And I'm not saying men don't have their own problems, but I mean, just right now, that's not really something I want to read about. I know I said that I really wanted to get it all done in uh, November. I don't know if that is going to be the case. However, there is one on the booker that I still really want to get to, and that's his bloody project. But I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm up for reading some kind of heavy literature, if that makes sense. So, that might get pushed back. I do want to finish it. I promise that I'm going to finish it. So that is what I'm currently reading. I did finish up two books already this month, so I'm pretty excited about that. And it's only the 10th. It's the 10th. Yep. What else has been going on? I'm slowly regaining use of my uh, left leg, which is great. <laughs> I make it sound like I've been paralyzed. I haven't been. I have just had a really bad pulled muscle, I think, in my lower back. And because it's been so tight and so cramped, it has been pulling on the back of my hamstring, or on my hamstring, on my left leg. And so my left leg has been very, very sore because my muscles are finally starting to like relax. And I've, I've actually started doing some yoga to kind of uh, help myself <laughs> get into, um, you know, back into, a place where I am comfortable because it is very uncomfortable. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, I want to talk about my bookshelves. You can see behind me, this is one of our large bookshelves in our family room. This is where I keep the majority of my books. I have recently uh, changed like basically entirely of what I have kept on these shelves. And most of that is because I want my bookshelves to be a constant updated what I am reading kind of thing. So I have a few YA series that I really liked, but possibly doesn't reflect what I'm reading currently. And so I've moved them off of these shelves and into the office where we have all of our textbooks also are kind of in the office. So I've also dedicated a shelf to some YA series and books that I don't think reflect um, my current reading. We also have like one big um, bookcase over there that both Drew and I have kept our Harry Potter series. I have mine up very much on the top shelf because I'm crazy about those books. I do not let people touch them. I think it's just the wind. I don't think there's a bird. 
There was a really strange noise that just came in from our window. My cat, I think, is convinced that it's a bird of some sort, and I think it's just the wind whistling through the window. Anyway, on the other shelf, I keep all of my Harry Potter books, as well as all of my, I'm looking over there, sorry. Um, I keep all my Harry Potter books, as well as all of my Twilight books, uh, because I read Twilight in high school, and uh, I think it's really funny because I read it, I think, before any of the, and not to be, you know, that person that's like, oh, I read that before it was popular, but I did. I read that before everybody else read it because I read so much. If somebody, one of my friends or my teachers was like, this is good, you'd like it. And she was right, I did. I liked Twilight and especially liked uh, the second one, which is what, New Moon? I didn't ever finished it. I never finished Eclipse or Breaking Dawn. Um, but I did read New Moon and I was, as an angsty teenage girl, very taken with new moon. I keep those up there because they're obviously a completed nice series that I got I think for Christmas over a couple of years. And then on the next shelf Drew has all of his books or so some of his books from when he was a kid and then all of his Harry Potter books. So we've actually got two complete sets of Harry Potter in the house um, as I'm sure many Harry Potter lovers who then become couples probably have in their houses. You have multiple copies of the books. I wanted to talk a little bit about how I'm organizing this one. Uh, which you can't really see. So I'll probably end up doing some video of those shelves separately after I'm done nattering on. Oh, what I mean when I talk about those books. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry, standing is still hard. All right, so up there at the top, you can kind of see I've just got, we've got some random stuff. That was a Christmas gift for Drew. And we've got a picture of us and his Canadian citizenship thingy. On this far side here, I've got a couple books that uh, won't fit anywhere else. So those are um, some picture books and some and a graphic novel that won't fit. And then this shelf up on top is all of my red books. So I've got um, some YA that I've really liked. So then down here, I've also got like a little stack of books that I've read. And then the reading stops about here. And then on are books that I have not read. Some fantasy books and half of a fantasy series that I need to read. And then I've got all sorts of like adult books over here that I have also, oh, well, except I've got two books there that I have actually read that need to be moved. I've got some adult books that are more indicative of what I've been reading recently, so I wanted to move them out here so you, like, they, I don't know, they could, you know, be seen. And here, I've got this little section right here is all my nonfiction, and then I have classics. And those are all my classics, starting again from things that I've read, and then at that little pile and onwards are books that I have not read. And at the very bottom we have this teeny tiny little shelf, and this teeny tiny little shelf holds all of my mass market paperbacks. So those are basically because those are the only ones I fit bad in there. That's all I kind of wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to, like I said, make a video to make myself feel better. If you do need a distraction, so this video is here for you to watch and not to think for a little bit. So do you guys organize your bookshelves in any particular way? Is there, do you have a rhyme and reason or do you just kind of shove and go? I kind of wish I was one of those people that could just shove and go because I dismantled this bookshelf the other day and it took me two days to figure out how I wanted to reassemble it. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope your reading is going well. If you like little kind of sit down bookish chatty videos, let me know. There's some things, something that I really enjoy watching and I've always been interested in kind of re-bringing to the channel because I feel like I used to do some of them and then I stopped when I did follow me around vlogs, but books are obviously something that I take very seriously and I like making them. So if this is something that you like and something that you would watch, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys very soon with another video. Bye. How do you organize your bookshelves? Teach me your ways. Also, somebody bring me a doctor.